She is the first Arab woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize awarded for her work as a prominent activist and advocate of human rights in Yemen. This afternoon, I spoke to Tawakal Kaman just after she'd had a meeting with the Foreign Secretary where she urged William Hague to freeze the assets of Yemen's President Ali Abdullah Saleh, the man she has spent the past year trying to oust from power. The people demand the fall of the regime. Yemenis chant the now familiar cry which has echoed around the Arab world this year. Leading the protest in this deeply conservative Muslim country is a woman, 32-year-old Tawakul Kama. Known as the Iron Woman and the Mother of the Revolution, Kaman has become the passionate figurehead of this year's movement to oust Yemen's president, Ali Abdallah Saleh, after 32 years in power. Despite being virtually unknown outside her own country until the Arab Spring thrust her into the international spotlight, Tawakul Kaman has long been a thorn in Saleh's side. She set up the campaign group Women Journalists Without Chains in 2005 and has led weekly protests since 2007, demanding women's rights and greater freedom of expression. The Saleh regime has not taken kindly to her vocal opposition, arresting her numerous times, including twice this year. Last week, she was jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, making her the first Arab woman ever to receive the prestigious honor the judges said she had played a leading part in the struggle for women's rights and for democracy and peace in Yemen. Earlier today, she came into the studio. And here she is, Tawaka Kaman. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Um, a woman, 32 years old, in a very conservative country, an Arab country. So how has it happened? How is it that you are the Nobel Peace Prize winner? It's, uh, it's achieving of uh, dreams, it's uh, struggling, it's believing on, on us, on our ability to change uh, crisis, to change all the problems, to be part of the solution. If Saleh does go, what confidence do you have that your country can be free? Uh, please, it's, you know, it's, the, the, the dictator go, the, this is the first step this is, we know the, the revolutions is the, the revolu is many steps. Just number one, step down the, the, the dictator and uh, his family. It's just check on the first step. We have second step and third step until we reach to What the, is the final step? The reaching to the democracy and citizen and modern country. And we will You don't want that. Western intervention. You can resolve it yourselves. They have to do two things, two steps. One, freezing the assets of this dictator and his family and his regime, and second, taking him to the ICC. This world is our world. How can we live with each other with this dictatorship? I, I, I told them that there is no peace. They said they, they want peace in these countries. There is no peace without justice, and there is no justice without accountable. So they have to do their responsibility. Mm. You know what the West fears, is that the Arab world be becomes some kind of Iranian uh, entity that will, I don't know, build nuclear weapons, threaten them in some way. Um, do you think the West really begins to understand the Arab world? Uh, they have to understand. <laughs> they have to understand. And I think the only one who builds the walls between West and East is the dictatorship. They benefit from the, these walls. You think they the West was very comfortable with dictators? They were. They were very comfortable with the dictators, but I think after Tunisia, they changed their mind. Mm. But with the Yemeni, they, are, they, they don't do their responsibility yet. But really, I was very happy when I, when I, when I, when I heard after uh, Tunisian people went uh, from Obama and from European Union that they respect their, the will and the courage of people in Tunisia. And they, they use the same word with, the, with Egypt. And that means that, that, the, that the period of coalition and uh, between people is begin. That's very important, but they have to do. They have to do more. They did. They did like that with uh, all of the revolution, uh, for the revolution in Arab Spring, but they didn't do that with the Yemeni. And I, I, I warned them that you are wrong. You have to be justice, and you have to know that these people they are. 
they let all their weapons inside their houses and inside their tribes for freedom and for peace. And it's your responsibility to hear for them, to hear to them, to listen to them, to help them. If they don't, they choose the wrong way because we want to win with partnership with them, not without them, but we will win, we will succeed. This is our new country and this is our new world. We are now struggling for a new world, which is based on peace, which is based on love, which is which based on justice, which is based on accountability, based on human rights. So without our struggling in, in our countries, we will not reach to this happy world. The remarkable uh, Tawakal Kaman, who was one of the three women who won the Nobel Peace Prize this year.